this Suzanne was scrapping the details and I wanted to share with you a recent project that I've completed. It is a an adorable little miniature bag and it uses a die by Sizzix. It is by Lori Whitlock and it is called the Bag Favor Box. It is very cute in size and it measures about two and three quarters by three and three fourths. And inside I've just tucked in some of my favorite teas and this is an item that I did sell last year in my boutique, but I packaged it a little bit differently. This year, when I came across this die, I thought this is perfect. It just gives me enough room to put in three tea bags. And of course, you know, I did use just plain white cardstock. I kept that, I kept the cardstock pretty simple because I do like my booth to be kind of clean and simple. So I didn't want it to distract from you know everything else that I have going on and it just makes an elegant little presentation you know I did use some navy and some blues and another reason as well that I decided to go with the blue and white scheme is that not everyone celebrates you know the holidays some people are looking for just a quick gift for a teacher or maybe to someone who doesn't celebrate Christmas so I kept it pretty generic just with a little embossed saying stay cozy and just dressed it up with blue and white. This tag here I found at Target and during the Thanksgiving time. And I loved it and I did have plans on using it for my Hershey Nuggets, but I decided to design my nuggets a little bit differently. So I pulled these out. So they were the inspiration behind this design. And I really love the way this came out. Simple, but elegant, even though this item may be, you know, it's not gonna be very expensive, but the presentation is gonna, you know, make the recipient feel that, wow, somebody put in some time and effort in, in thinking about their gift. So anyway, I'm gonna show you how easy it is to make this and the supplies that you'll need to complete. So let's get started. Okay, so to complete this little favor bag, we're gonna need the following. You're going to need some gold embossing powder. You're going to need some ribbon. You're going to need Versamark with the embossing powder. You're also gonna need a tag. Now, obviously this is already a pre-made tag that I found during Thanksgiving, but you can complete your own tag by simply cutting a uh, piece of navy cardstock and then embossing it with some gold trim. I know a lot of us have mini stamps, so there's probably an image that you can use, but I will show you an example where I didn't do either one of those. I simply took a die that I had in my stash that was kind of, you know, that had this tag shape. I just punched a hole and I simply added my medallion and then, of course, my gold embossed sentiment right in the center. Now, because there was a lot of empty space, I simply added some gold glitter washi tape to finish it off. So I only had about 12 of these tags. So I made, I want to say probably 25 of these. So the rest of them are going to have this design, but it's still, they're still very similar and they still look very beautiful. So just in case, you know, if you don't, obviously not many of us probably pick these up, but there's always another option. Okay. So, so to complete this little tea favor bag, we're going to need the following. You're going to need Versamark and a gold embossing powder. This is from, I believe this is from Ranger and it is called Princess Gold. It is one of my favorites embossing powder. You're going to need a sentiment. And unfortunately, just because I am in full blown crafting mode still, I can't find the original um, stamp set, but it is from Hero Arts. This little sentiment just simply says, stay cozy. It's very generic, so it goes well with this little bag. It is called, I believe, coffee tag, coffee cup tags. So it does come with an, a matching die. Um, unfortunately, like I said, I cannot find my stamps, but I know they're around here somewhere. So I will try to link that if I can um, find that um, prior to um, uploading this video. I love this. I'm so glad I bought it. I cannot wait to make some cards using this set. So you'll need, again, you don't need to have this. You just need some type of sentiment or whatever you would like um, for the center of the rosette. Um, you're going to need a rosette die 
and this is from Tim Holtz by Sizzix. I absolutely love this. This, this is the mini paper rosette, and we're going to use this very small one here. I love this die. This is actually my second one because my first one, I used it way too much that I needed to replace it. So my favorite, favorite die. I love it during the holidays. You're gonna need a tag. Now again, you know, you may not have picked this up during Thanksgiving at Target in the dollar area. However, you can create your own tag um, because we're simply going to clip it onto this little paper bag. Now, a perfect example is here. I only had 12 of these tags. So, because I originally was going to use them on my Hershey Nuggets packages, but I decided to go a different route. So I came across these tags and these were actually the inspiration for my little tea favor bag. So I didn't have enough, so I had to improvise. I just cut a die that I had that resembled that was pretty close in, you know, um, in, in the shape of the die. Um, I added, you know, the same thing, the little rosette and the sentiment was perfect inside. Now, because there was a lot of white, I just added the gold glitter washi just to finish it off. And as you can tell, there's, they are, the tags are different, but I still think they're both beautiful and the presentation is still the same. So I think it worked, you know, I just stayed with the same color scheme. So you'll need a tag and you'll need some ribbon. You'll need some red sticky tape. Love this, so strong, it's my favorite. And okay, I've already showed you the rosette. I've already cut that. And then you're gonna need your favorite tea bags. So I just chose three of my favorites and um, these, are the what, these are what I tuck into the little uh, tea favor bag. And then even though you really don't need a little bag to um, place your tea bags in, because you can simply tuck them inside here, um, I decided I just wanted to tuck them into this little um, bag that I found. And I want to say I found them at the at the Dollar Tree. You, they come 52, you know, for a dollar. And they were just perfect so I could tuck them inside just as an extra touch. And then, of course, you're going to need the Lori Whitlock Favor Bag. And I've already cut it for you, but it is, again, so easy to use and it's just perfect. So, I mean, you could, you know, stick a gift card in there, just some chocolates. It is absolutely just a cute die and I'm so glad I came across it. And finally, you're going to need a little paper clip and this is how I tie off the bag. Okay, I'm gonna show you exactly how to put it all together. Okay, let's get started assembling this. So first off, I'm just going to go ahead and tuck in my teas into this little bag. I just think it's just an additional detail, just as a special touch. And now they're all tucked inside, so we can put that to the side. We can begin by assembling our Lori Whitlock favor bag, and I've already die cut it for you. And I'm just going to go ahead and just kind of fold along the crease lines here just so it's easier. And then here, I just kind of bend it into, it, into itself just to kind of get it ready. And then I'm going to do the same thing to the other side. And I do like the fact that I'm using white. I just wanted something clean and simple. I don't like my booth to have too many colors. I want it to really kind of blend well and not look like just a bunch of mishmash items. I think it's not very pleasing to the eye and then people don't really know what exactly what they're looking at. So. I like to keep things clean and simple. So that's why if I design something like these tea bags, these tea favor bags, I just keep my design the same throughout. I want them all to look the same. Very rarely will I, you know, input, you know, two or three different designs. I just like to stick to one and that way they all look nicely, you know, whether on a tray or in a basket, you know, for my holiday boutique. Okay, so that's done. So now let's go ahead and add some tape to our bag 
Okay, have my scissors. And we're just gonna add the red tape right along there. And we're gonna cut. Okay, and we're gonna bring the other one to this side. And we're gonna also adhere the red sticky tape. I love this tape, even though I know there's a lot of tape out there that you can just tear. I mean, I haven't met met one. I haven't seen one um, that I like. You know, I this is just my favorite, even though I do have to cut it. I know it's like an extra step, but it adheres well, and it, it's my favorite. It's strong, so I don't mind cutting it. Okay, so that's done. So now we're going to go ahead and assemble our box. So let's just peel this up. And we're going to match that up right there. And as you can see, we're forming our box, our bag. It is really, a really, really cute die. I'm so glad I came across this as I was working on something else. And I thought, okay, this is going to be perfect for my tea bags. Okay, so now what I like to do is kind of, just make sure that's that. So I just kind of pick it up like that and just kind of match up the edges and that looks good. Okay, so as you can see, we're starting to form that little bag. So now all we need is adhesive right on the bottom. And what I like to do is just kind of fold it against the side and just kind of put some adhesive right there, fold in the ends and tuck that there and then tuck this right on top. And now you've completed your little paper bag. Really cute. It's like a little paper bag is all it is. And then of course it has a little scallop edge on top. Really cute. And as you can see, and then I, you know, I was going to put a seal on there, but I just decided not to. I'm just going to tuck that in, and it tucks really nicely inside, if you can see that there. And it's going to be perfect when we finish it. Okay, so that's done. So now let's go ahead and work on our tag. And I have my sentiment. And while I was kind of arranging some things, I did come across that stamp set. Again, it is by Hero Arts, and I believe it's called Coffee Cups. But this stamp set is my favorite. I found it on Amazon.com one day when I was looking for a coffee stamp because I knew that uh, one of my items that I do sell at the Holiday Boutiques are those little mini coffee cups. So I wanted a sentiment. And of course, I came across this one. It is perfect. It has just really nice sentiments here one that says sending you a cup of cheer a holiday treat and stay cozy that's the one we're using today and then I love this one you warm my heart so this is perfect and again it does come with coordinating dies so I would definitely pick this up especially if you love Starbucks and this is perfect for that to make a card or a gift card so definitely you should well I recommend you have it in your um, in your inventory Okay, so that's that, and I have my Versamark pad out. Now, please excuse this. I know my daughter got red on it, but it still works the same. I need to buy a new one. I didn't realize that she had done that, and let, you know what? I did forget a piece of white cardstock and my oval punch. I'll be right back. Okay, I have my white cardstock and, of course, my Stamper's Secret Weapon by Sizzix. And I apologize for not having all my supplies out in front of me. Of course, like I probably mentioned in my last two or three videos, I am very busy with the um, Holiday Boutique. It's my last one. So I am just counting down the days and, of course, creating um, every single day. And... I, so far I feel like I am I think I'm ready for it so just a couple more days and then I will be done okay so I'm just using that gold embossing powder 
over it and I'm just going to go ahead and just for now pop that right in there and now I'm just going to heat emboss it. And as you can see, it's just changing the color there. Okay. Perfect. Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and just kind of cut around it. And I'm going to use this oval punch that I have. This is by Stampin' Up. I've had it a while, so I'm not exactly sure if they even carry it or what the name is. But I thought... I just came across this. I'm like, okay, this is perfect for this sentiment. And you're just going to punch it. And that's it. So let me go ahead and get this out of the way. And we'll go ahead and assemble our tag. So the first thing is, we have our tag here. And we I've already assembled the mini paper rosette from Tim Holtz. And I'm just simply going to add some hot glue. And glue that right to the center of my tag. So I'm just going to put a little bit of glue right there, pop that right in the center, and let that dry for a second. So I'm just going to clean this up a little bit. Okay, and then that, that looks good. And then just apply a little bit more glue to the back of my oval die cut there and pop it right on there just like that. Okay, and then what I did next was simply adhered it to the top of my favor bag, about there, and I just used a little white mini um, clothespin just to hold it all together. And it looks like I kind of got, oh, hey, there it goes. I was like, oh, I got, kind of got that crooked. That's not good. So there we go. I fixed it. So as you can see, it comes together super easy, and it just makes such a lovely presentation. And then I just, I mean, it's fine just as is, but I wanted to kind of bring in this blue. So, and this blue cardstock, I don't really have a lot of blue Christmas paper in my um, stash. So I picked this paper pad up from Michael's. I can't remember the name of it, but right now all their paper pads are 40% off. So, Okay, and so we're just going to finish off our little tag with our little mini clothespin, just right there. And that finishes off the little favor bag. Now, of course, we could leave it as is, but I wanted to add just a little bit of blue ribbon to kind of finish it off, to kind of tie in this uh, baby blue mini rosette. So let's go ahead and just take that off for a second. And I'm gonna grab my ribbon. And all I simply did was tie a bow right along the top of the tag. Oops, let me just kind of move that over just a little bit. And we'll get that going here, okay. And pull that down, and we're just gonna pull it right there, tie it into a little knot there. And it just kind of finishes up the top of this beautiful tag. And I wish I had purchased more of them because I love the gold embossing on the tag. It's just beautiful. But of course, I only picked up two packages because I think there was probably three, but I was like, no, I just need two. And of course, now I wish I had more, but it's okay. These are getting used and they're, it's just, they're just lovely. So just cut the ends of the ribbon and that is it. And now let's just go ahead and adhere it back to the top of our tea favor bag. And let's go ahead and open that up. If I can see what I'm doing here. I could have used a bigger clip, but this is what I had in my stash. So I'm going to go with it. So there you go. It's that easy, that simple to complete. Again, a perfect presentation and of course if you're not doing a holiday boutique this is a perfect little gift to add to a beautiful uh, mug uh, for tea um, just to give as a hostess gift or maybe you are part of a bible study 
or part of a running group. What a perfect little gift to give to all of them. So thank you so much for joining me. I hope that you've enjoyed this quick tutorial and I hope that you find some time to be creative. And I wanna thank you for subscribing to my channel. And here is to the final days of counting down for my last holiday boutique. So I probably won't be back on here until sometime next week prior to um, Thanksgiving. So thanks so much for watching.